Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetShoes.com and today we are here at the Zolo event and we have the Zolo 8X 1000 which is the first phone which is running this custom UI from Zolo which is called the Hive UI. As you can see this is how the phone looks like. It looks great in terms of build quality. I would say there is no issue at all. As far as back is concerned, you have glass at the back and the front also has glass again, display obviously. Uh, and again the front glass has a Sahi glass protection whereas the rear has Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection as per the information which we have got from them and we will confirm this later on. So this is how the phone looks like as you can see and this phone has been launched at a pretty affordable price point that is 13,999 which is the MRP of this phone. Again you might be able to get it for a lower price and one of the most important thing about this phone or the different thing about this phone as compared to any other Zolo phone which is out there in the market is that it runs the Hive UI which is the new custom UI which is coming from Zolo and they plan to have this UI on other phones as well on future phones which will come after this and there it, this UI will also be rolled out on some of the existing phones which are already there in the market and this is the information which we have got from them so in terms of the build quality I would say this is uh, a pretty good build quality phone you have uh, plastic being used over there which is again good quality of matte finish plastic and then the design of the phone is slightly different as compared to the ones which we have seen previously this phone is definitely not very uh, it is a kind of a thick phone uh, approximately little less than one millimeter is the thickness but again uh, the weight of the phone is also slightly heavy as compared to the other five inch phone which we have seen previously this phone has an IPS LCD display so you can see that the viewing angles are also good again they are not too great but pretty good viewing angles you have on this device you might notice slight amount of color fading but again the viewing angles are better than other phones which we have seen on this particular price segment when we talk about the ports and connectivity on the top you have the micro USB port for data syncing and charging you have a 3.5 mm audio jack over there and both of these ports also have some chrome finishing over there which actually is making these ports look good so here we have both the sim tray open i have just used the sim injection tool and here we can see that this is for the memory card so you can actually insert a micro SD memory card over here with this tray and this tray is pretty big which can actually hold two sim cards and both of them should be micro sim and then you can actually insert two sim card into this device and you have dual sim connectivity in this way and you do have power and sleep key which is a plastic button over there on this edges you have the volume rocker which is also a plastic button and both of these buttons give you a good amount of feedback and you can easily feel them at the bottom you have two loudspeaker mesh and i'm not sure whether this device has a dual loudspeaker but again you do have a primary microphone over there uh, the primary microphone hole is over here i don't know whether you can see them but it is here when it comes to the secondary microphone i do not see any secondary microphone for noise cancellation on device and when it comes to the secondary microphone i cannot locate it on this device as as far as the secondary microphone is concerned and we will confirm whether this device actually has a secondary microphone or not and this is how the ui look like the ui is the most interesting thing on this device again the ui is pretty fluid pretty good to use you can easily unlock the phone like this you do have different kind of locking screen you do have different kind of home screen different kind of icons which you can have you just need to open this application called edge and once you open this application you will get access to a lot of themes which will be there you can download these themes you can access local themes which are already there on the device so you can download a lot of themes on this device which includes this one uh, which is which is designed by someone called Manil Rohit and then you have other themes which are designed by other uh, other designers so you do have hive dark theme hive light theme as well let me just apply this theme and again as soon as we apply the theme you can easily have that theme enabled on this device uh, within some seconds and it will take some time to actually apply a particular theme and once it is applied you can see the change in the ui so this is how the ui will change you do have animations which are running uh, quite smoothly I would say I do not notice any kind of flag as of now but again uh, you might notice slight amount of flag when you run heavy applications like games and some heavy uh uh, games and some other applications which are heavy in size and then we might be able to tell you whether you will have a lag or not you we do have frontline commando d-day also installed on this one so we will just test that so this is how the application settings or the application drawer will look like application drawer is not like the usual one which you see so this is a custom ui the application drawer is also different you have the option of uh, sorting these applications in alphabetical manner you can actually sort them in the way you have used them or launched them you can also sort them in 
the way uh, how these applications are categorized in what they can do and you can access the play store directly from here from the all application drawer which is a quick shortcut pretty good to use when we talk about the phone dialer this is how the phone dialer will look like the phone dialer is again not stock android it is a custom one you do have different options over there on the phone dialer you can you can actually make a video call i'm not sure where, why it is okay so once you go to the profile uh, the number and other things you will be able to message you can make a video call directly to any person out there uh, using this these options apart from this if we take a look over the phone dialer the uh, dialer thing as such so here we have the phone dialer and again this phone dialer is kind of custom animated phone dialer you do have button feel to it when you press this you can actually feel that there is a button being pressed you do have animation for that you have the option of making a video call directly from here and again you cannot message a number from here but you can do that from the profile menu and here we have some other settings you can actually have all these settings including speed dial you can specify you can access all contacts from here and this is how you can actually see all your contacts these contacts are also going to have the kind of look and feel as per the theme which we have applied on this phone so ui is something which is the most important thing or you can say the most interesting thing about this phone as far as hardware is concerned the zolo uh, 8x 1000 which we have with us as of now has true octa core processor which is clocked at 1.4 gigahertz so if they say that it is a true octa core processor it is clocked at 1.4 gigahertz it is a 8 core mediatek 6592 chipset and again when we talk about the ram you have 2 gb of ram on this device 16 gb of inbuilt memory and 2 megapixel of front camera is there whereas the rear camera is 8 megapixel which has led flash as well and it is an auto focus camera it can record high definition video at 1080p as well as 720p when it comes to the display the display is 5 inch high definition display i'm not sure about the resolution of this display but it looks like a 720p display we will confirm that later uh, as far as pixels are concerned i do not notice any pixelation on this display so the display is good in terms of pixel clarity i do not notice any pixelation and the viewing angles are also pretty good when we talk about the form factor the form factor of the phone is slightly different because it is a thicker phone a slightly heavier phone as compared to the other phones which we have in the same price segment so it might be heavy when you hold it in your hand but you will get used to the weight once you start using it again you have glass at the back side which will get a lot of fingerprints as you can easily notice over there and the front will also attract a lot of fingerprints over time as you can see you can see a lot of fingerprints but again the both of the glass at the back as well as the front has some kind of protection this one is corning golden glass 3 whereas this one is asahi glass protection which will again make sure that you don't see the scratches very easily on this device this is how the lock screen will change as per the theme which you have applied you can directly launch the camera you can directly launch messaging application all these things you can do directly from the lock screen you can actually unlock the phone simply as well apart from this if we take a look over the messaging application so here we have the messaging application the interface for the messaging application is again not stock android it is a custom one and you do have swipe to type supported so continuous input is supported swipe to type is supported you can easily type on this device without any issues the keyboard keys whenever you press them uh, they also give you a pop-up so that you can see which key you have pressed so typing will not be an issue on this 5 inch display and again there is no lag in typing as well as far as the ui is concerned apart from this let's take a look over the notification center and notification center does give you all these toggles over there which are kind of interesting you have brightness toggles over there which allows you to control the brightness with the help of this circular thing you can increase and decrease the brightness you do have automatic brightness as well supported and when it comes to the screen timeout you can actually change the screen timeout from here by using this circular toggle you have toggle over here for the airplane mode bluetooth data and uh, then you have something else over there okay which is flashlight you can use the flashlight as a torch rotation toggle and you can actually have more toggle access like this by tapping on more let's go into settings and show you what we have as far as version of android so this is how the settings ui look like it is again not stock android it is a different uh, setting ui when we take a look over the about phone uh, talking about the about phone i can show you the system information so this one is running on kitkat that is android 4.4.2 and again here we have the baseband and the kernel information all those things you do have system update supported you will be able to get over the update of set on this device so again zolo is going to push over the air updates over over the air updates on this device and they will have much more things in control this is the ui where you can actually check for the system update and it will be available to you uh, through Wi-Fi so you don't have to connect this device to a PC when it comes to the touch capacitor button the touch capacitor button does not have any indentation uh, this uh, seems to be okay 
this is the back key this is the back key and this is the home key again and this should be the menu menu key again this device is uh, uh, seems to be running the google now launcher uh, as it looks like because i can see these options which actually are part of the google now launcher so looks like the ui does have google now launcher which is optimized and customized in such a way that it does give you a very different look and feel you do have different kind of widgets also supported i'm not sure how to access the widget section because all application dot actually lift all the application but i do not access any which i cannot actually access any widgets let's go into settings again so we have taken a look over the about phone you do get system updates on this device over there apart from this if we take a look over the storage again here we will get to know how much of the storage is being taken by the hive ui so this device has 16 gb of internal storage out of which around 3.94 gb is allotted for application so you can install application on 3.5 gb of storage where if where, when we talk about the phone storage the phone storage is this one which is 9.4 gb available out of which 8.86 gb is available and again you can install application and store picture videos and other data on the phone as well you also have the option of changing the preferred install location so you can change the default write disk you can change the default write disk on the uh, mem you to the memory card so again uh, i think you do have a memory card slot one thing i would like to correct over here is that uh, when it comes to the sim card slot the sim card slot is there inside in this one particular hole so once you eject this tray this will have a slot for two sim cards so you can insert two sim card in this device and that should be a micro sim we will just confirm that whereas this slot over here will accept a micro sd memory card slot so this is the micro sd memory card it will accept a micro sd memory card up to 32 gb maximum and then you can actually install applications on the sd card as well and i can show you the option for that so under here storage over here you can see that the preferred install location is something which you can change so you can change the preferred install location and you can install applications on the sd card which is supported on this device as far as the touch capacitor buttons are concerned they do not have any any indentation but they do have these backlit light so you can actually uh, whenever you tap them you can see them you can uh, basically have a proper look uh, you can uh, identify them when we talk about the front on the top you have the metal key piece below the glass you have the proximity and embed light sensor over there you have a front camera over there which is a 2 megapixel camera and again this device looks good in terms of the build quality in terms of the overall finishing it does not look like uh, you can say uh, affordable or cheap phone it looks like a very premium phone in terms of the build quality but again uh, the glass at the back will actually get a lot of fingerprints and scratches over time again this is corning golden glass 3 but uh, still you will get to see the scratches if you happen to drop it taking a look over the brightness settings i can show you that this device does have support for automatic brightness as well and here we have the wallpaper support and other things supported as you can see all these settings are part of the display apart from this when we take a look over the audio profiles i can show you some options in the audio profile you do have the option of enhancing the audio quality of the earphone as well as you do have the option of boosting the volume over the loudspeaker so the loudspeaker is actually over here at the bottom it should not it should not get blocked basically because the design is at actually over there so as per the design this location is definitely good because if you place a device like this on a table watching a video the loudspeaker will not get blocked because it is not at the back side which is actually a good thing apart from this if we take a look over the other settings we do have support for the thing that is Wi-Fi hotspot is something which you can create on this device. You can share the 3G internet on this device. You have support for Bluetooth tethering. And again, when we talk about wired tethering, wired tethering is something which I do not see as a, okay, you have USB tethering supported. You have Wi-Fi hotspot option also. And Bluetooth tethering is also supported on this device. And once we go back, you do have the option of location as well that means you can use this device for gps navigation so gps navigation is supported and again you can use this device for gps navigation with the help of assisted gps we will test that once we do the full review of this device apart from this let's take a look over the application scenario so when we talk about the ram ram on this device is 2 gb of ram you have octa core processor clocked at 1.4 gigahertz mediatek 6592 chipset and when we talk about the ram out of 2 gb of ram approximately 0.93 gb of ram is being used and 1 gb of ram approximately is free and the device is responsive again i was actually expecting that this device may not have good amount of ram but out of 2 gb of ram approximately 1 gb of ram is free so again they have optimized the ui on the zolo 8x 1000 so that the ui even when it is custom ui it should not show lag or it should not actually affect the performance of the device because they have actually made sure that the ram available on the device should be good enough so that 
you can actually use this device without any issues and there should not be any uh, UI lag but you might face some UI lag which we will confirm once we do the full review of this device apart from this you do have a power saving option over there as well so you can actually specify what kind of mode in which you would like to save the power you do have low battery mode in which you can actually turn off Wi-Fi mobile data GPS Bluetooth haptic feedback and other things so that you can save battery so you do have power saving options over there on this device which is part of the a phone because this application comes installed. You have download manager over there. You can actually access Google search. There are some Google applications as well. So there are not too many applications which are on this device. Again, which is good because not too much of bloatware is there on this device. You do have a file manager as well which categorizes all the files in this way. So you can access the files on this device without any issues. And then when we talk about FM radio, you do have FM radio. You have Fusion X over there, which is their music player, and this music player is quite good uh, to use. You do have a different category of interface you can actually play some song like this and it has a very good interface with which you can actually uh, have a better feel of what kind of music you have of different kind of themes you can actually set different kind of wallpapers you can actually have in the background whenever you are playing videos whenever you are uh, playing music on this device or even if you if you want to listen radio from here you can do that so all this you can do with the help of the fusion x player which we have on this device let me just play a video on this device and show you the overall quality of the display so we are playing a high definition video as of now if they do have controls over there to decrease and increase the volume so you don't have to do this you can actually do it in the circular way they have control over here for the brightness as well so you can control the brightness from here on the circular toggles they are definitely different kind of controls which we see so let me just see whether these controls automatically hide so the controls are automatically hidden as of now the video right now is not playing in full screen i can see some black bars at the top and bottom but that is because of the resolution you can play high definition videos at 1080p on this device without any issues and this is how the viewing angle will look like again the viewing angles are pretty good not too great but you can see the display from almost any angle without any issues there is a lot of reflection coming right now on the phone because of the environment in which we are recording this video so sorry for that so as you can see we are playing this game called frontline commando dd now and it has loaded it took like half a minute to load and now we can play it in terms of graphics i do not notice any problem again graphic wise there is no issue with this device while playing this game touch screen is responsive all the controls on the touch screen are visible and i can easily play this game on this device without much of an issue however i would have liked if the screen is slightly more responsive but that has to do with the game controls as of now okay as you can see graphic wise there is no lag there is no issue everything is smooth and running fine on this device when we play this game so again you can play high definition games on this device without any issues just like this one you can also play modern combat 4 and some of the games which we will play once we do the full review of this device so let's take a look over the camera and i can show you the camera ui now here we have the camera shortcut and this is how the camera ui look like as you can see this is not the stock one it is a kind of a custom camera ui you do have auto focus and tap to focus as well and when we take a look over the options over there we do have the option to access the front camera so this is how the front camera will look like the front camera is a 2 megapixel camera it can do a pretty decent quality of video chat this is how the quality will look like the video will be hazy if you don't hold the device stable but uh, it should be good it is a fixed focus camera so don't expect it to focus but this is how the view will look like if you have good amount of light falling on your face then the view will be better and you can actually make better video call from this device uh, as far as front camera is concerned so let me just take a photo of my iphone 5 over there and i can uh, show you the quality of this device as far as camera is concerned we are right now taking this photo uh, in a hall with some artificial light so let's see how does the photo come out so we have just taken the photo i can show you the same so the photo come out to be pretty good i would say uh, in terms of clarity it is uh, pretty crisp and clear i would say i can read the details on the display of the phone which is very minute over there as you can see and again have captured it pretty well in terms of the colors the colors are being reproduced quite right i do not notice any problem the yellow thing over there on the table is also looking good so everything looks good as far as camera is concerned the camera performance is definitely good and in daylight it will perform much better i do have some other photos as well i guess so there are some other photos which have been captured with flash this is how it will look like they are also looking good so in terms of clarity i would say this device is pretty good from the camera department i can show you some options over there for the camera for this i need to just tap over here and here we have some uh 
effects you do have different kind of effects which you can apply so there are some real time effects which you can apply on this device apart from this if you take a look over the uh, other things uh, i can show you the modes you can have different kind of modes panorama mode is supported hdr mode is also supported you do have face beauty mode as well so all these modes are supported let me just show you the camera settings as far as gps location is concerned so you do have gps location option image properties is there face detection is there self timer is also there picture size is maximum 8 megapixel from the rear camera so again this device can also record high definition video you just need to go to the video mode to access the video settings and again it has started recording as of now you can you can actually pause the video in between as well in case you want to pause the video and you can resume it and you can stop it by just tapping over here and the video will be stopped and saved so all in all this looks like a pretty decent phone uh, the kind of ui which is running on top of android is kind of fluid fluid i would say and simple enough uh, you can say it is faster as of now i do not face any lag during uh, my usage as of now during uh, when i use this device for like 10 minutes you know if you have any specific question for the zolo 8x 1000 device this looks like a decent device to let me know if you have any specific questions i would love to help you in case you have any questions about this device i have tested it for like half an hour uh, and again this device has not given me any issues as far as any kind of ui lag or crashes are concerned so thanks for watching this video uh, you can leave your questions in the comment section below you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you